effects of force the changes that a force can bring about is called its effects when a force is applied on a body the following effects can be seen one a force can change the shape or size of an object for example when an inflated balloon is pressed between two hands its shape changes similarly when a spring is pulled beyond its limits its shape changes the shape of a gel tube changes when it is pressed or squeezed similarly the shape and size of a ball changes on pressing between two hands the shape of an iron strip changes on hammering 2 a force can make a stationary object move for example when you hit a ball with a cricket bat it moves the force can increase the speed of a moving object if force is applied in the direction of motion of the object however it is not necessary that a force will always make a stationary object move for example if you push a heavy object like a bus or truck single handedly it will not move these objects remain stationary because the force applied by us is not sufficient to move the body 3 a force can change the direction of a moving object for example a batsman changes the direction of a moving ball by tilting the cricket bat you can change the direction of carom coin when you hit it at an angle with a striker 4 the force can stop a moving object if force is applied in a direction opposite to the motion of an object its speed will decrease and after some time body will stop for example a moving bicycle or car can be stopped by brakes the brakes will apply a force in the opposite direction of the motion activity to show that force can stop a moving object take a table tennis ball and roll it on the table top ask your friend to stand on other side to catch it when your friend catches the ball the motion of the ball stops hence force can stop a moving object 5 a force can increase or decrease the motion of an object when a force is applied on a moving body it can bring about a change in the speed of the moving body depending upon the direction in which force is applied for example when we give push to a moving swing we make it move faster when we apply a force in the opposite direction we make the swing slow down unit of force the si unit of force is newton this unit is denoted by letter n a force of 15 newton can be denoted by 15 n resultant force when a number of forces are acting on a body their effects can be expressed by a single force this force is called the resultant force one when two forces are acting in the same direction their resultant force is obtained by adding the two forces resultant force r is equal to p plus q is equal to 500 newton plus 250 newton is equal to 750 newton 2 when two forces are acting in the opposite directions their resultant force is the difference of two forces resultant force r is equal to p minus q is equal to 500 newton minus 250 newton is equal to 250 newton effects of force The changes that a force can bring about is called its effects. When a force is applied on a body, the following effects can be seen. 1. A force is mass times acceleration. F is equal to m into a. That means 
an object with heavy mass needs stronger force to move with same acceleration as an object with light mass for example it is easy to push an empty supermarket can than a full one as the full cart has more mass than empty one so more force is needed to push the full cart than empty cart 2 a force can make a stationary object move for example when you hit a ball with a cricket bat it moves the force can increase the speed of a moving object if force is applied in the direction of motion of the object however it is not necessary that a force will always make a stationary object move for example if you push a heavy object like a bus or truck single handedly it will not move these objects remain stationary because the force applied by us is not sufficient to move the body activity to show that force can move an object place a pencil on the table top and strike it with your fingers you see that pencil moves ahead this shows that force applied can displace an object 3 a force can change the direction of a moving object for example a batsman changes the direction of a moving ball by tilting the cricket bat you can change the direction of carom coin when you hit it at an angle with a striker four the force can stop a moving object if force is applied in a direction opposite to the motion of an object its speed will decrease and after some time body will stop for example a moving bicycle or car can be stopped by brakes the brakes will apply a force in the opposite direction of the motion activity to show that force can stop a moving object take a table tennis ball and roll it on the table top Ask your friend to stand on other side to catch it. When your friend catches the ball, the motion of the ball stops. Hence, force can stop a moving object. 5. A force can change the shape or size of an object. For example, when an inflated balloon is pressed between two hands, its shape changes. Similarly, when a spring is pulled beyond its limits its shape changes the shape of a gel tube changes when it is pressed or squeezed similarly the shape and size of a ball changes on pressing between two hands the shape of an iron strip changes on hammering 6 a force can increase or decrease the motion of an object When a force is applied on a moving body it can bring about a change in the speed of the moving body depending upon the direction in which force is applied for example when we give push to a moving swing we make it move faster when we apply a force in the opposite direction we make the swing slow down unit of force the si unit of force is newton this unit is denoted by letter n a force of 15 newton can be denoted by 15 n resultant force when a number of forces are acting on a body their effects can be expressed by a single force this force is called the resultant force one When two forces are acting in the same direction their resultant force is obtained by adding the two forces resultant force r is equal to p plus q is equal to 500 newton plus 250 newton is equal to 750 newton 2 when two forces are acting in the opposite directions the resultant force is the difference of two forces resultant force r is equal to p minus q is equal to 500 newton minus 250 newton is equal to 250 newton
Types of Forces There are two main types of forces. Force, contact forces. 1. Muscular force. 2. Mechanical force. 3. Frictional force. Non-contact forces. 1. Magnetic force. 2. Electrostatic force. 3. Gravitational force. Scientist Charles Augustin de Coulomb was a French physicist. He is the best known for developing Coulomb's law, the definition of the electrostatic force of attraction and repulsion. The SI unit of charge, the Coulomb, was named after him. In 1785, Coulomb presented his three reports on electricity and magnetism and four subsequent reports were published in the following years. Coulomb explained the laws of attraction and repulsion between electric charges and magnetic poles, although he did not find any relation between the two phenomena. He thought that the attraction and repulsion were due to different kinds of fluids. Contact forces Contact forces are those types of forces applied to two objects when they have physical contact with each other and they interact with each other. 1. Muscular force The force exerted by the muscles of human body is called muscular force. We use our muscles during running, playing and working. Animals exert muscular force to do a heavy work, such as ploughing, pulling cart, etc. 2. Mechanical force The force exerted in moving a body with the help of a machine is called mechanical force. Machine needs energy from other sources to exert force on an object. A railway engine pulls a train by exerting mechanical force. It gets energy from diesel or from electricity. Similarly, a car gets energy released by burning of petrol. 3. Frictional force Roll a rubber ball on the ground. After some time, the ball stops. Similarly, if we stop pedaling a cycle, its speed will reduce and after some time, it stops moving. We have read that a force can move and stop an object. That is, it can bring an object in motion and it can bring an object at rest. A moving object like a bicycle stops after some time because an opposite force from the ground acts on it. Similarly, the rolling rubber ball stops after some time because a force acts on it in opposite direction of its motion. Frictional force tries to stop moving objects. Non-contact forces Non-contact forces are those types of forces applied to two objects when they are not in physical contact with each other. 1. Magnetic force The force by which a magnet attracts or repels objects like iron, steel, nickel and cobalt is called magnetic force. A magnet attracts another magnet when unlike or different poles of different magnets are brought near each other. A magnet repels another magnet when like poles or same poles of different magnets are brought near each other. Whether a magnet attracts or repels another magnet will be clear from the following activity. Activity Take two bar magnets. Suspend one magnet with the help of a thread. It will come to rest in the north-south direction. Hold the other magnet in your hand and bring its north pole near the north pole of the hanging magnet. What do you observe? You will see that the north pole of the hanging magnet repels or moves away. Now, bring the south pole of the magnet in the hand near the north pole of the hanging magnet. You will find that these opposite poles attract each other. That is, north pole of the hanging magnet will come closer to the south pole of the magnet in hand. 2. Electrostatic force The force of attraction or repulsion between two electrically charged bodies is called electrostatic force. Example Rub a comb on your hair and bring it near the bits of paper. 
the small pieces of paper are attracted towards the comb this happens due to electrostatic force this type of attraction takes place because some objects on rubbing acquire certain electrical charge during the process a glass rod rubbed with silk also acquires similar properties 3 gravitational force whenever an object is thrown vertically upwards it comes down to the earth mangoes falling from a tree always come down why can they not go up this is because the earth pulls all the objects towards its center the pull exerted by the earth on the objects is called the force of gravity or gravitational force the force by which an object is attracted towards the earth is called its weight so the weight can be defined as a force with which a body gets attracted towards the center of the earth activity when a rubber ball is thrown vertically upwards then after some time it comes down to the thrower the reason is that the earth pulls the ball towards itself due to gravitational force